Hi, I'm Lori, and this is Blonde Diva Diamond Paints. Today, my family and I are packing up for our summer vacation, and I just wanted to share with you how I pack my diamond painting and diamond painting supplies to travel with me. See you soon. Hey guys, so like I said in the intro, I am getting ready to go on a family vacation and I just wanted to quickly share with you how I pack a diamond painting for travel. So, you know, it's like that whole diamond painting addict thing. I have to have a diamond painting with me just in the off chance that I have some downtime and there's nothing to do and all I want to do is diamond paint. I need to make sure that I have my diamond painting with me. So there are a couple of things that I do in particular when I'm traveling with my diamond painting kits. First of all, I don't take a pricey kit. So something that I've spent a long time waiting on or I'm, uh, you know, I'm really invested in the outcome of the kit, I'm not going to take that with me just simply because things are left behind, things are lost, and I just don't wanna take the risk when it comes to that. So for this trip here, I have purchased a small canvas off of Amazon, and I'll link that down below. I believe they still have some available. If not, um, I'm sure you can find something similar. It is a, I wanna say a 30 by 30 canvas, so it's relatively small. It has um, just a few drill colors in it. I think it'll pack well. So let's go ahead and look and see what's inside the canvas. I am going to be careful when I open this, and I'm just gonna cut the top off because I'm gonna save this plastic for later. So there's that. And let's see what we have here. So as you can see, it is a small canvas. It says, welcome to our fun, loud, crazy, happy home. I'm gonna roll it back just so you can see it a little better. It is a poured blue canvas. You can roll it backwards. It's perfectly fine. There you go. So that's our canvas. And it comes with a little standard toolkit, the green boat, the plastic bags, the pen with the multi-placer. I'm not gonna take any of that with me. I'm just gonna to toss it to the side. What I am gonna do is I'm going to take the drills out of here and I am going to kit them up in a small home craftology kit uh, that I purchased again off of Amazon. And that's not gonna stay in this container. I'm gonna show you what I'm going to do with that after I get through putting all the drills in and kitting up the drills. So I'm gonna do a quick cutaway and I'm gonna kit up the drills. See you back in a second, bye-bye. Okay, so now I've taken all of those diamond drills out of the little plastic containers and I've placed them into this Home Craftology storage kit. And as you can see, I haven't used nearly all of these storage containers. So I've only used one, two, three, four, five, six of these. I'm going to take these out because it would be overkill to take the whole plastic container with me. I'm gonna take those out, those six out, and I'm going to actually put them into my Vera Bradley. This is a uh, medicine travel case or a pill travel case. It's nice in that it has a nice zipper around it, so it's good and secure. Um, when you open it up, it does have all of those medicine containers in it. You could definitely use this as your diamond storage just on its own and put a sticker, sticker over the top of it. But uh, sometimes I do use it for medicine or whatnot, so I like to keep this pure and not do anything to damage the, the labels on the top, and it's really easy just to stick these Home Craftology ones in it instead. 
So that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to take all of these out. And I'm going to start stuffing in the Home Craftology storage containers. And as you can see, again, there's not enough to fill the bottom of this. And if I were to close this right now and zip it up, everything would still shift around and fly around, and I don't like that. So what I'm going to do, I have a couple of options. I can either take some of these empty ones and place them to the side to fill up the rest of the bottom of this container, but what I'm actually choosing to do this time is I have some leftover packaging, uh, some styrofoam strips that I am going to put. I'm going to put one on this side and one on this side. And then I have a teeny tiny one that I'm going to put here at the back to kind of squeeze everything in. So now nothing is going to shift back and forth. I can seal this up and feel good that nothing is going to move around in my pack in my luggage so there you go that's what I'm gonna do with the drills there's a couple of things that I like to keep in mind when I am traveling one is I want to be as minimal as possible I want to take as few things as I possibly can one because it's easy to lose things when you're traveling and who wants to carry around extra stuff that they don't need so um, I like to keep it down to a minimum, but also when I'm diamond painting, I want to enjoy my diamond painting time. So there are a few things, it's kind of a balancing act between what I truly need and things that I want to take with me to make my time diamond painting more enjoyable. So that brings us to the next item here. You definitely don't have to, I don't know why my camera is zooming in and out, but um, you definitely don't have to take this with you if you don't want to. This is just one of those things that makes everything better for me. So that is my light pad. I like to be able to see. So I have, um, this is I think an eight and a half by 11 light pad. And again, I have a Vera Bradley. This is a laptop or a tablet sleeve and it has a zipper on it. I am just going to place it in here and I've actually, I'm going to take my laptop with me as well and both, right now I'm using the laptop so I can't show you, but um, I can fit both the laptop and the, the light pad in here at the same time. Or um, what I could also do is I'm going to pack everything into my backpack here and the backpack has a um, like a felted sleeve here this also fits nicely in here and then my laptop will go in here and I'll just put it in there so either or it's fine um, it's a little more protected when it's in the Vera Bradley and that's kind of how I prefer to do it but anyway there's two options there so for right now I'm going to put it into the Vera Bradley and I'm going to go ahead and stick it into the backpack because I literally am trying to pack right now to go on a trip so um, that's one thing down okay so that's in there but what's missing from the light pad the light pad has to have a power source right so I have the cord to the light pad and a um, brick so those two things are going to go again into the Vera Bradley. I like matchy matchy. Can you tell? So um, I have just a little makeup case right here. Those things are going to go right inside. So everything for my light pad is good to go. Everything for my drills good to go. I'm going to go ahead and stick that in my bag as well. Okay, so now we're getting down to the, well, actually, let's do the canvas first. So I looked at this canvas, and um, when you lift up the side here, it has a lot of over, over spray, over gluing, I don't know what you want to call it, but the, um, the actual sticky part comes over off of the canvas quite a ways on all sides. So I am definitely going to take some washi tape with me. And when I go to work on this, I am going to run washi tape all over that sticky side there so I can eliminate that stickiness. Um, so this is going to be going with me. 
But also, what I was really looking at is, this is a super cheap canvas. I mean, you know, really. So um, it does have a cover that doesn't exactly fit. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to just cut off that extra so I don't have that banging around. But I am gonna make sure that um, the plastic still covers that, that sticky part because I don't want that sticky part hanging out. But now it's just a little, a little cleaner for me and I'm gonna cut it off at of this side too because that paper is just crazy crazy big so um, don't need all that and probably a little bit off the bottom okay cool so there we go and what I'm going to do with this is I'm not going to put it into anything I am going to put it into my backpack when I start working on it when I start laying down drills um, I am going to roll it back up. I'm not going to leave it flat. Whenever you have started working on it, when you do have drills on the actual canvas, you don't want to roll it this way. You want to roll it with the drills out, the pretty side of the canvas out. So just make sure that if you're doing the same thing, if you're working on it and picking it up and traveling and moving to a new city, whatever, you want to roll it out to put it back in. But right now I have nothing on it, so I'm going to roll it the other way. I'm going to roll it this way just to stick it in the bag. Okay. Almost there. Okay. So um, we have our charger and our cable and our washi tape. So there's that. And then uh, what else? Oh, let's see. So I have a couple of nice pins that I like to use and rotate through. I'm not gonna take both of them. Um, and I debated whether I really wanted to take this one or not, just because I don't wanna lose it. But again, it makes everything so much more enjoyable, more comfortable to, to diamond paint. So I'm gonna take this. This is a mini diamond painting pen. It's a lot shorter than your typical pens. And I have put a straightener on the back there. So I have a nice single placer pen with the again with the the focusing um, single placer pen with the straightener on the back and then I am also taking just a cheapo you know plastic pen but this one has the three placer on the back and then a, another cheapo pen with a seven placer on the back so those are going to be my pens that I'm going to take with me and I could totally just take this one and swap out the tips but it's a lot of hassle to do that. It's just easier to pick up another pen. So I'm gonna do that. And then this thing, I have no idea what this thing is actually called. I got it off of AliExpress. It's some kind of diamond painting pen, diamond painting accessory, don't know. But it is the most useful tool that I have. I can pick up diamonds with it. I can move diamonds with it. I can scrape out the wax out of the tip of the uh, multi-placer. I just have a, an abundance of uses for this thing. So um, I'm definitely taking this with me. And then when I use the wax sometimes, sometimes I have you know a little bit of overage. I like to scrape it off with a clean toothbrush. I'm gonna take that as well. Then um, this little tin I got from um, Patty Wax, Patty Wax Lady, Distracted by Diamonds on Etsy. And it, of course, is metal. It's like an, the size of an Altoid 10. I am going to pack it with, again, uh, from Patty Wax. I have a couple of samplers of Patty Wax Super Sticky and regular Patty Wax. They're the perfect size to travel with. So I'm going to place those in there. And then just as a super duper backup, I'm going to take one plate of the Diamond Art Club wax just, just in case um, something weird happens or I lose it or you know whatever. I'm, I wanna make sure I have enough wax. And then uh, I'm also going to take a, just one of the cover minders and it's gonna stick right to the top. 
And I'm also gonna take a couple of binder clips. Those, again, super useful. Um, they hold your canvas in different, you know, different areas, different spots. A lot of uses, uses for these. So I'm gonna take a couple of those with me. And I am looking around to see if there's anything else. I am gonna take a small scissor with me. And I am going to take a tweezer with me as well. So that'll go in there. I think that's all for that. I feel like I'm leaving something out, but that's it for that little container. Okay, so our bag is almost filled. The last thing I'm gonna put in there, again, I could definitely take a smaller boat, but I like big boats. So I'm gonna take my big handy dandy boats. I'm gonna slide that in the side there and it is going to seal just perfectly. There we go. Awesome. So it is ready to go. And I think I am all packed. My diamond painting packing is complete. What do you guys think? Did I leave something out? Is there something that you guys travel with that I didn't take with me? Let me know. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you again on Tuesday for Tuesday Night Drilling and Chilling. Bye-bye.